Hi everyone, I'm Addie. I'm the Kids Ministry Director at The Vine in Kenmore, and I'm so glad you're here for the weekly kids devotional. So this is something we're doing kind of this school year and maybe going forward um, because we're not holding Sunday service for kids. And it's such a bummer because one of my favorite things to do is teach the Bible to kids. I love it. And I hope that these um, story times that we've been doing just bring you some joy. So we are doing a little story time or study of the names of Jesus. And this is kind of building off of our Christmas series that we did about Isaiah 6, 9, Isaiah 9, 6. And, um, but this time we're studying some of the other names for Jesus that are mentioned in the Bible, in the Bible, not all of them, but it'll give you a good idea. So moms and dads, if you want to print out some coordinating cards that go along with this, that I found online, you can look in the description and I will link that so you can print them out for your at home study with your kids. So today we are in Daniel 7, because we are going to talk about the Ancient of Days, the, the part of the Bible where Jesus mentions that he is the Ancient of Days. So um, you can grab your Bible and turn to Daniel 7. Daniel is a prophet in the Old Testament, so it's going to be towards the beginning of your Bible, not the end. So you can read along with me in Daniel 7, 9 to 10. As I looked, thrones were placed, and the Ancient of Days took his seat. His clothing was white as snow, and the hair of his head like pure wool. So you may remember some of the story of Daniel. Daniel was a young man who was taken from his home and went to a new kingdom, at the request of the king, or not really a request, more like a forcing of the king. And he was made to live in a new culture. And some parts of the new culture did not honor God. And Daniel stood his ground and continued to honor God, even though he was in a culture that did not. Um, you may also remember the part in Daniel where Jesus protected him and Daniel trusted God um, in the lion's den. There's several stories that we've studied in Sunday service. Daniel was a prophet who spoke for God. And in this section of Daniel, we are looking at um, how God spoke to Daniel in a dream. So in his dream, Daniel sees beasts and he is frightened. Have you ever been scared by a dream? Later in Daniel 7, after what we read, um, we read the interpretation of the dream. Now, God works a lot in dreams, and we see that a lot in the Bible. There's even some parts in Genesis that we've been studying on Sundays in which God worked in a dream, such as with Joseph when he uh, was shown that his brothers would bow, bow, to, bow down to him. Um, and his brothers didn't really like that. If you remember the story, it kind of made his brothers mad, and then it also led his brothers to uh, sell Joseph into slavery. So working through dreams sometimes is sort of scary um, in the Bible. But in this one, Daniel is being shown um, the second coming of Jesus. So in Daniel's day, he was still waiting for the first coming of Jesus when Jesus came as a baby. And we are now in that waiting for the second coming of Jesus. When Jesus isn't going to come as a baby, he's going to come as a king that will rule and reign over all that we see. Um. And from this verse, we hear that Jesus is the ancient of days. And this is confirmed in other parts of the Bible, that Jesus was with God at the beginning. He is as old as God, and he is never ending. In John 1.1, 1, 1, we read, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. That Word the word is referring to Jesus. Jesus was with God in the beginning. Jesus has no beginning and no end. He is the ancient of days. So I want to show a little thing that might be fun to do at home. But first I want you to think. How, uh, think of maybe your mom or your dad or your grandma or just somebody that you know. And think about how old they are. And think about how old you are. 
And then it might be fun to do this little exercise that I'll show you. So for example, um, I am 39 years old. I just had a birthday. So if you think that each year has 365 or 366 days, I have been alive for about 14,500 days. Each day I get up, I go about my business, have a little food, have a little fun, have a little rest. Then I go back to bed and I start all over the next day. And that's what I've been doing for 14,500 days. Pause this video and ask mom or dad or whoever you're watching this with how many years old they are. And then using a calculator or even your math, math skills, figure out how many days you've been alive and then come back. Okay, so if I am 14,500 days, I want to show you a little something. So here I have um, a bag of beads and I have one pony bead. These are those plastic round beads. They come in all different colors. We use them at um, church all the time. So if I had one bead, that represents one day. So find something and have it represent one day. Maybe it's a bean, maybe it's a grain of sand, maybe it's a blade of grass whatever you want. I'm using beads. So in this Dixie cup, I have 100 pony beads, 100 pony beads. And each pony bead represents one day. So this represents 100 days that I've been alive, a little over three months. So if I had 100 beads and I put them in a Dixie cup, I would need 100 and 45 Dixie cups full of 100 beads to show how many days old I am. That's a lot of Dixie cups <laughs> and a lot of beads. I don't even know if we have that many beads at the church. I mean, we have a lot of beads upstairs, but I don't know if we have 14,000 of them. Here's another idea. Um, I've got the same pony beads. But this time I put them on a short pipe cleaner. These are the ones we have upstairs, it's brown. And I put 10 pony beads on it. If I had four, uh, 1,450 pipe cleaners, each with 10 beads, I would have 14,500 pony beads for days that I've been alive. I'm trying to help you see that it's a really big number. <laughs> If I were using these um, uh, labels, the little tiny ones, I would need 30 packages of labels, 30 packages. For these bigger ones, I would need 25 packages to show 14,000 days. If I were using these index cards, they have a th uh, 100 in them, I would need 145 packages of index cards to show how old I am. And finally, if I were representing my age or the number of days in um, Pirate's Booty Bags, I would need 1,208 boxes, each with 12 little bags, to show how old I am. If I had all those things, it'd be probably kind of a mess in here, especially with these things. That'd be a lot of boxes. So if that's for me, and I'm 39, um, think of how many things you'd need to show how everlasting Jesus is. He is the ancient of days. We would be swimming in beads if we had a bead for every day that, that represented Jesus. He is older than all the days. And he doesn't even, isn't even bound by days. He is outside of time. He is older and will live forever because he is God. And I hope that this helps you understand how grand Jesus is. Jesus is better and bigger than any of us could ever be. And um, I hope that's fun for you to think through. So thank you for joining me today and I will see you next week.